Hello, my name is Christopher and this is a series on creating a smart home from scratch. So, uh, what we do on the channel is we go through every piece of thing you need to do to create a smart home. And my smart home has got almost 900 devices in it and uh, me and my dad's been building it for years. So, uh, what we're going to do today is um, we're going to continue off the last video I've done on creating AdGuard, get it up and running. Um, but one thing that you have a problem with now is after that video, you have one instance of AdGuard running and that's good. Uh, but you could have an issue where you have to take that server down for maintenance or you have to take that server down for some other reason or anything can happen with that server then if you connected it to your router like it says to do in the adguard home setup guide you you'll have an issue to where if that server goes down your smart home devices your devices connect to the internet your iphones ipads android devices they will all go offline and not be able to connect to the internet uh, on DNS. And DNS is just to work to resolving the domain and it's sending the query on the domain, then it's resolving the IP address from that because humans cannot uh, comprehend and keep a running tally of all the IP addresses. So that's why the domain system was invented uh, to have a phone book and then it connects it to domains to where humans can actually memorize words. So, um, what we're going to need today is we're going to need two instances of AdGuard Home. We're going to need one instance of Fortainer. I've done videos on that before this one, so you can go check out those. And um, I'm going to be using Docker Compose and then Docker to run the AdGuard Sync, and it's a utility. Uh, that's made from the open source community on GitHub. So um, uh, once that's put in, I'm going to walk you step by step on creating it, getting it up and running, getting all the environment variables set, getting the files set, uh, getting it, uh, getting the volume set up on um, the uh, container and then the local and the Proxmox CLI. And once we do all that, you should have a working system to where it's syncing every 10 minutes. So let's stop blabbering on about it and let's get to work. Okay, today I'm going to show you how to install AdGuard Sync on Portainer. Okay, I've done a video on installing Portainer on Proxmox already, and I've already done a video on installing AdGuard on Proxmox. So you will need to actually set up a secondary instance of AdGuard, and then um, just follow the YouTube video that, that I cr created before. And then now we're going to go to the main AdGuard, Gonna go home and then if you go over to DNS block list and you see there is population in here. Okay, now custom filters has data. And then now if you go back home to the main, then you go to secondary over here, out of guard secondary. Okay, now you can see if you go back to home by clicking the add guard logo right here. You can go to filters, DNS, block list, predefined. Pre you can see that the secondary and the main are completely different. They don't have all the data. The replica right here, the secondary, does not have all the data. So we're going to have AdGuard sync, sync it all up, and make it to where you can have zero downtime in your home. And why you want zero downtime is because of um, not... Like if you have maintenance on one server that you have to take it down for some reason, you don't need your main DNS to go down completely. Like then you'll have smart home automations go down. You'll have the smart home devices go down and say they can't connect the internet. 
then you'll have a mess. And then soak. That's why you need at least two instances of AdGuard um, if it's going to be your main DNS. Okay, now we're going to go to the GitHub. This is AdGuard Home Sync. And then it, they give you instructions on installing it, but I'm going to be installing on Portainer. So right here, I already have it laid out in the uh, stack, but I'm going to do away with that real quick and show you from the beginning. Okay, you go to home over here in Portainer, then you click on local right here, and you go to stacks. Then it says no stacks available. You don't have any stacks on this Portainer. Okay, now you're going to go up here. You're going to do add guard home sync. I'm going to name it stack. Okay, now you're going to paste everything. Okay, now if you go over this, okay, composer, this is the Docker Compose version number. This is the volume. This is the container. It's in services. And then this is the image that it's going to pull off of GitHub Docker repository hosting. And then container name, we're going to name the container. Then we're going to run this command with the config adguard home sync dot yaml. We're going to create a volume and this is to where it's going to mount it on the local hard drive. Then it's going to sync it up with the mount on the container. And then ports 8080 is exposed. Restart unless stopped. So if you do stop it for some reason, it's not going to restart automatically. But if it does fail for some reason, it's going to try to restart it. So environments, so environment variables. So you have run on start true. You're going to log with the a log level is info. Then you're going to set up a cron job for 10 minutes. You're going to put in the origin URL. This is the main AdGuard home instance. Okay, now you're going to go to origin. Uh, if you're going to say origin username, you're going to type in the username and then origin password. And then replica URL, which is your secondary AdGuard home. You're going to go to the replica username now. You're going to put in the username for that uh, secondary AdGuard home. Then you're going to do the secondary AdGuard Homes password. Then we're going to put a path inside with all the bin files that are executable. Okay, now this looks good, but one thing we have to do is go over to Home AdGuard Home Sync, copy this, because we're going to need to create this inside of the uh, the VM, the instance. Okay, now we're going to go over to Proxmox. We're going to go to a Docker, which is Portainer on here. And then we're going to um, CD in the home directory. There's nothing in this home directory. So now we're going to check that the Avgar home does not exist already. Then we're going to um, Go in nano, then we're going to paste that path. Then we're going to hit control O. Then we're going to hit return or enter. Then we're going to hit control X. That should have created a file. Let's do LS. It did create a file. So you can see right here, it did create a file. Okay, now that part's done. Okay, we're going to need to go to back to Portainer. You can now start up this stack. Let's check it over real quick. It looks to be right. Okay, now we're going to deploy the stack down here. This is the deploy button. Deploy in progress. Stack successfully deployed. Okay, now it should be up and running. Okay, we're going to go into containers right here. Then we're going to 
Scroll down, we're gonna see if everything's right. Yep, it did create the volume. Okay, now we're gonna to go to logs. Okay, you can see right here, it's starting to sync everything from the, it looks like it's done syncing. So it synced my predefined filters. It's syncing my custom rules. Okay, now we're going to go back over to secondary AdGuard. We're going to go to home real quick to refresh everything. Then we're going to DNS block list. And you can see right here that that container, uh, the Docker instance that we just created, has now synced up with the main instance. Okay. Now it's actually enabled all that too. So you can now go to custom filter rules and it's now synced up with the main instance. So now you can see that they're both almost uh, exactly the same. So it's syncing both instances every 10 minutes. But if you do change something and you want it changed immediately, you can go, I'm gonna just go and I'm going to copy this just for an example. I'm going to go down here. I pick the tech road dot org. I reply. Okay, now the custom rule is successfully applied. Okay, now. Okay, now we're going to. You're going to see on here. If I refresh this, it's not syncing. Okay, it syncs every 10 minutes. So go over to Portainer, and we're going to start at home. And then we're going to go to local. We're going to go to stack, I guard home sync stack. Then we're going to go down to containers right here. Then we're going to look up here for restart, and then restart the con uh, container. Okay, now we're going to go in the logs and you're going to see that the API server did start up. It's running startup now. It's connected to the origin. It's connected to the re replica. It's set user rules. It's done syncing. Okay, now we're going to go back over to secondary. If you remember, we did add bigbrotechworld.com. Okay, now we're going to go over to secondary. We're going to refresh the page and you can see that it did sync up with the main instance now as long as you go in here and you just go backwards you go in the container and you say restart it will automatically restart again and make sure that everything's synced up so but you can just wait 10 minutes and and it'll sync so that is about it on getting two instances running together so uh, I just showed you how to install AdGuard Sync on Portainer. That makes it to where you can have two AdGuard homes synced together. Makes it to where you can take down a server, uh, one server at least, anytime you want. Do maintenance on it, bring it back up, take down the other one, do maintenance on it. And that makes it to where the load balancing happens between of them. You do have to add the secondary AdGuard home to your router setup on the setup guide for AdGuard home, um, then you will have it load balancing. If your router uh, is doing that by default, you could have some settings in there to where it picks them in so many ways or something like that. Not sure what your router does, but uh, my router does it all at once. And then whatever comes back, it comes back par par parallel request. But um, that shows you uh, what you need to do to have zero downtime. And thanks for watching. Peace out.